So once I got the bleeding to stop, which doesn't take very long with obsidian, by the way, this stuff's so sharp that it cuts between blood cells. Any cuts you get seal up pretty quickly. They just bleed a lot for a short amount of time. Anyways, I ended up working it some more off camera. I stopped using the stone hammer for the major removals and started using an antler percussor. I've been holding it freehand, just hitting it like this. That's something I tried years ago, but it never worked out for me. So I gave up on it for a long time. Picked it up again last night and really enjoyed the results. Got all sorts of really nice flakes out of it. I still have some of this hinge lift here. Gotta get rid of that. Bit of a step there too, but I can get them both from this side. Just got to do a little bit of work, flattening, balancing everything. I'll do a little bit of that on camera maybe, before I show the finished product.
Okay, I think I'll finish it there. We're in a continuous platform all the way along that edge. A couple steppy type terminations here, but that's fine. I can just cut them off with a similar approach to the other edge. Make for a nice flaking pattern on this backside. Try and fix this up a little bit, and then I'll show you the finished product. I've got this down to a good thin stage now. I've been doing the final pressure flaking. And I just wanted to show you something real quick. I've just been using this little cutoff antler tine to do my pressure flaking, but I've been getting some real good results in here. Nice big flakes. Just wanted to show you one if I can.
that's enough of that for now. I just wanted to show you how versatile just a little tool like this can be. You can bring this everywhere with you and do a lot of work with it. Very mobile. Starting to balance everything out real well. I still have some work to do on this, but I'll do that off camera. I don't want to make this video too long. And without further ado, here's the final product. Very happy with the way this one turned out. I kept a good amount of the width and the length. Got it to a nice thin point. Seeing as how this is Mexican obsidian, I wanted to try and make something that fit into their point typologies down there. So I know the Angostura point was found pretty far to the south. Clovis was definitely found down in Mexico. Angostura Something like that, I'm sure, was found down there, too. It falls well within the range for archaeological examples of the Angostura projectile point. I think it was more of a knife and was heavily resharpened, reworked as it was used without being taken out of the haft. It's at about 7.9 centimeters. Three point one centimeters wide. About eight millimeters thick. So that's just about a four to one width to thickness ratio on this point, which I'm very happy with considering I used all stone and antler tools like I always do. Thanks for joining me on this one. I'll put this into a an antler handle at some point, maybe a wood handle, and turn it into a proper knife. Maybe I'll try and sell it. But for now, this is what it's going to look like. Pretty happy with that flaking pattern right there. Okay, that's it. Take care.